you can see me. I need to figure out a time to go live whenever I can actually do my working day. <laughs> Maybe on heavy doodle. Ah, <laughs> I'll be right. Unmute so people can hear you. Hello, hello. How we doing? Still the Oh, by the way, I think you need to feed the doggo. <gasps> uh, this is now live according to according to my phone. That means we're all getting up and running. Is it looking over there, Craigy Bear? <laughs> Getting ourselves all sorted. Waiting for a few people to, to join us. Jasmine's here. Jasmine's here. Oh, hey, Jasmine. Hiya. I can actually move this over to the middle. So hopefully I can read it right in the middle. It's not in the way, is it, Craigie? I okay, don't think so. Um, hey, Jasmine. How are you? How's the audio and the visual tonight? Is it A-OK? -okay? Give us a thumbs up. I'll let us know how it is. Hopefully it's all good in the hood. <laughs> so I've got some bits and pieces here pulled out so that I can get crafting tonight. <laughs> Jasmine says I can hear and see you. So that's good. Awesome. Brilliant. Nice. And I was talking to mother-in-law today and she said that it is the 70th birthday of one of her friends coming up. So I thought tonight I might make a birthday card for Catherine. Um, Craig, what, what do you think Catherine would like on her birthday oh. card? <laughs> Any idea? <clears throat> Ranger. Ranger. What well, Ranger on the birthday card? She'd love Ranger on the birthday card, I think. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to start off with tonight. Let me just move these ones out of the way for just now. And I think I'm going to um, go with my Stitch Slimline Trio. Do I want you to bring out the new release? Do I want you to bring out the new release? Yeah. You're such a tease, Craig. I tell you what, next week you can bring out the week. new release. Yes, next week you can bring out the new release. <laughs> Marcy's here as well. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Jasmine. Hey, Marcy. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, next week I will bring out and crack out the new release to play with. I promise. So um, we have our new release sneak peeks starting on monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and then on friday we'll have our first day of reveal so next week new release it shall be indeed all right so let's see what kind of a card we're going to have today so i was thinking a slimline type card and we will layer up a panel and um, this panel here, this die, which is all joined together, um, makes it really easy to get perfectly spaced apertures on this front smaller panel. But I then pulled out this die set. This is our mini essentials dies. And I was thinking that that's sort of a similar size to this aperture. So my plan is, I think we could create a card which has got three circular apertures. Well, it's kind of like um, a wavy aperture, wavy, almost like a very, very fine scalloped circle there. So I think we're going to go for that for today. I think that would look really cute. And I might actually um, ink blend a background, but maybe... What we'll do is we'll grab a piece of heavy noodle cardstock 
and then we'll ink it up. So let's see what we can, we can grab over here. Let's see. I might, I'm thinking I'm using maybe the butterscotch or, oh, the corn flour might be quite nice. Okay. Let's use the corn flour. I think that would be really cute. And we'll still add some ink to it. Oh, we've got some more comments. Roman's here. Hey. All right, so I'm going to create a panel for the back, which will consist of this section here. So I'm actually just going to trim that down rather than putting it with my. And great news, everybody. You probably can't even see. But I got legs for my units so I keep my throat now I can stand up. And trimmer. And use my jelly. Yay! Happy girl I am. <laughs> After much debate, I finally found find one that I liked. Alright. Let's stick this down and run it through my machine. In fact, let's trim this. And then I'm going to run this through my Gemini, which is a bit longer than my Heavy Doodle um, plates. Does that, will that fit? Actually, it would fit. Just have to do it twice, I think. Why not? We'll give it a go. How is everybody this week? Are you all doing well? I want to know what you've all been up to. What's been happening? What have you been up to? Have you been crafting? in the garden Ooh. let me know okay that should be enough hopefully it didn't move in there yeah perfect all right to just keep this little piece because I might use that for something else in the future. It's big enough for a little sentiment strip. <laughs> Jasmine says she has been working and crafting. No rest for the wicked, as they say. Right. So I'm going to use this as a little bit of a guide to help me position where I want this to be. So I'll do the one in the middle first of all, like so. And hopefully I can somewhat grab the die and the card and then slide out this middle section. I think that should make it that I'm able to Secure it. Roman says, I got my Happy Doodle order yesterday, but haven't had a chance to play with it. Hopefully today. Fingers crossed. I hope you get it. And get some play time. All right. Probably should have inked this first of all. I was too excited about the whole apertures. That's okay. We'll make it work. Once again, I'm going to kind of position this where I want it to be. Kind of like here, maybe. Move this out. In fact, it might just be easier to eyeball it a little bit. Give that a go. <laughs> Nessa says, I want to look at the new release. 
Well, we have got some sneak peeks coming on um, Monday. We have four days of sneak peeks coming and then four days of reveal. But I do have a couple of things over uh, at the side where I have made some stuff. So hang around and we'll see if we can pull it out a little bit later on and show you a couple of that exclusive piggies. <laughs> Hey Tally, how are you doing? All right. So for those of you who are just joining in, I was telling um, everyone at the start that um, Craig's mum was, um, I was chatting to her earlier and she was saying that a friend of hers, good friend Catherine, she um, had a big birthday coming up. So I thought I would go ahead and make a card for Catherine. And I wanted to use the Stitch Slimline Trails, which is actually one of our most popular dies. Um, I think pretty much everywhere except the Evian store is out of stock of them at the moment. They've been so popular. Um, and I thought that it would be cool to try and make a card with these. But I pulled out the Mini Essential dies and I got this little scalloped circle die. So it's a very, very subtle scallop. It's more like wavies than, than proper... Um, deep scallops and I thought it was a similar size to these square put it in there so I'm going to put a piece of card in behind, in between these two and I might go for pink maybe the happy little pink card or maybe the butterscotch card would be nice too fine Butterscotch is here. Hold it alongside corn flour. See if it's going to look nice or whether maybe the, the a white part would look better. It does look really quite nice, but I think I'm gonna go with white for now. Let me go grab a white for And here I have, oh, I don't want that one. I don't want a crumbly piece of card. Thank you very much. Lost my comments now. Amanda's here. Hey. And Amanda says, love that colour. It's a good one. I really like it. It's really beautiful. All right, let's get my Gemini on the go. <laughs> So let's put this. This is going to go behind the front frame. Holly says, I love the circles instead of the squares for some reason. Yeah, there's something different in there. Let me put these away before I end up losing them. Sort of tidy up as you go along. Not always the case. <laughs> And I have my little um, clutter keeper here to help me attempt to stay somewhat decluttered. We shall see. <laughs> so I'm really liking this so far. I think that's really cool. I do want to add a little bit of like tone on tone look to this blue. So I'm going to. Um, somewhat line these up where they will be like so and then i'm going to um 
add some color to the bottom. So let's go grab a ink blending tool and some ink. I'm going to use a blending brush actually and I've grabbed peacock feathers. Let's see how this goes. Add a bit blue to this. Amanda says Kelly is back in school. Real school! Yay! Poor kid only had me for a friend for the past year. I know how that feels. She's excited even though it is only two days per week. Oh, she's going to love it. She's gonna Just having that social like interaction with the kids, they need it so much, don't they? I think they really do anyway. kiddo oh and jasmine i wanted to say a big big thank you um yesterday i think it was yesterday we looked in our post box our mailbox outside and there was a card in there for morgan who is our newest recruit that started this week um and uh there was a card in there from jasmine for morgan and i think Mar morgan was so excited to um have had i'm surprised to have post delivered here for her and she opened it up i think she was very touched and it was such a lovely gesture thank you so much for thinking of her that's so so good that's really nice i've decided to move over to um distress inks i mean distress oxide sorry My inks are getting a little bit dry on the ground. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of the... Maybe, um... What you call it? Tumble glass. I'm going to add a little bit of tumble glass, I think. Because this is quite a, a dark colour here, I'm just going to take the excess off my brush. On a scrap piece of paper. And then, I'm going to hump down my tumble black. I love ink on the colored cardstock. I think it just gives a lot more um, depth to the card. I'm really liking it. Amanda says, Jasmine, your card with the bears and the ink splatters is adorable. I know. I loved your smooshy background. <laughs> it is so fun smooshing, isn't it? We've got Marie here as well. Hi, Marie. How are you doing? So let's try or at least attempt to tidy up here a little bit. Just to try and keep my worktop somewhat clean. My distress sprayer broke in the move. It just shoots out the like finest jet of water now. And when you squeeze it, it... Um, it shoots out the jet of water, but it then continues for about four seconds. Um, it's not it's not really a distress sprayer anymore, more of a super soaker. <laughs> it's quite fun though. And Amanda says, definitely it takes less ink to cover since the paper is already primed. Absolutely. All right, I'm loving this. I think we're going to add maybe some splatters to this. I'm going to use my little splatter um, spritzer. And we have these in the Happy Doodle store, by the way. Oh, 
Give it a little bit of a flutter. And I think I'll also drop on some water with a paintbrush. Just for a little bit of extra droplets. Marie says, Hi Lizzie, how are you? I'm really good because today I got my email out to our retailers about the new release and it's always uh, like, it's always my white whale <laughs> because there's so much that leads up to send in that email. The email is like, hey retailers, here's the catalog, which of course you need to make sure the catalog's ready and here's the order forms, you need to make sure the order forms are ready. And here's a video and the video requires everybody's projects and 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 photos of products and it is it's always a little bit bittersweet because um it's such a big task but then whenever it's done and the orders um start coming in it's like oh huzzah so Watch this space. Next week we'll get lots of orders in, hopefully. That'll be good. All right. I'm loving this kind of splatter effect here. I think it looks really cool. Let's brush it back. I'm in, I'm in love with my legs on my countertop here. It's so funny how something so like small can completely change it's like when you see those um things online where it's like ikea hack or um people have completely changed the look of an old cabinet but just by changing the doorknob it's exactly like that the unit was repurposed from our living room in in the old house and then it just too low trying to find feet that would work and it took me way longer than I was hoping, but I'm you can't see, but I managed to find a guy that sold um, like turquoise legs. <laughs> so it, the, the color was called peacock. So I have some lovely peacock legs down there. So excited. Tally says, I need to do more ink blending. That's the trouble with coloring everything. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I am loving this so much. I think that is lots of fun. So this is for Catherine. She's turning 70. So I think I need to have um, 70, big 70 on there somewhere. Um, I don't think I have any big number dies or anything at the moment. So I might have to use um, something else that I have in my stash. But what I was thinking is using the roundabout sentiments. And the curved banner die. Because we have our circle apertures now. And the curved banner die looks really cool. next to the curved like next to the circle so i think we can put one here we can also put one here i think that would look really cool um and then i was thinking of doing wishing you a and then happy birthday and maybe in this middle section we can do something with the um with 70. what do you guys think would that work what colors did you use for your blending? So I started off with, oopsies, the Happy Doodle Cornflower cardstock, which is this one here. And then to blend, I used peacock feathers at the bottom. Uh, I started with the ink, but um, it's quite dry, so it was it's a bit too much of a workout for me. So I moved over to my oxides, and then I added tumble glass in the middle and blended that out a little bit and actually quite um blended quite well into the cornflower color that's already there work baby so we could go for the um 
butterscotch color, but I think I'm feeling a little bit more vibrant or maybe pink would be nice or sunny side up. Let me pull out the two of those. So sunny side up is nice. And also bubblegum blush can be an option as well. Let's see if I have any scraps. Nice so this is the bubblegum blush and then this one is the sunny side up I actually quite like sunny side up I think it looks really cool really vibrant so we could go for that and then we'll get some nice colors in and around it as well Nessa says, I did a card like that with three circles and made red, orange, green circle with a black and gray surround and I made it um, for a male passing a driving test. That is a phenomenal idea. That's actually such a good idea. I love that. You're so clever. You're so clever. Let's see this on the go. Okay, so I've got a little trip, trip, no, I've got a little trick for you guys. When you're wanting to use things like the roundabout sentiments, if you cut out the die first of all, like a saw. Amanda says that she loves the roundabout sentiments. And this banner. I do too. It's really versatile, isn't it? So if you cut it a shape like so, flip over the card and add some memo tape. I'm going to take a fresh piece because that one's been used a little bit. And cover this on the back. So you have the sticky bit here in the hole. And then you can pop this right back in the slot like a jigsaw. Then what you can do is place this into your misty or uh, stamping tool and then align the stamp perfectly in here. So let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to put my hair up. I've got little flyaway hairs on my face. And the good news is that the base image of the stamp is pretty much the same thickness as the die, so you can line it up really easily in the right spot. Close and then pick up. When you pick up, you need to make sure you're a little bit careful that the stamp here doesn't pick up the, um, the little die cut piece. If it does, it's not a big deal. Just take it off and slot it back in. It's not going to ruin anything. It'll be fine. Marie says, looks great. And um, Tally says, ready colors would contrast with the teal. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then Jasmine is mentioning that she has a bag of card scraps that looks just like mine. <laughs> oh, I just silly me, I meant to do that. Not that. I'll have to do that again. Got distracted. Amanda's just texted me, Amanda Fritterer saying, sneak peek blog posts, they're all ready. Exciting. I'm going to go check them. Jasmine says, I use this method and it's a game changer. Uh -huh, absolutely. Because the other thing is now, what you can do is if you were um, die cutting lots and lots of um, 
the same I mean if you wanted to stamp lots and lots of these all you need to do is um, take out the die cut piece oops I don't want to come out you can just take this out like so and add another one in there and you don't even have to move the stamp you just keep going and keep going and keep going and that's a really um, great way to like batch make cards oopsies okay. I'm just trying to be the most of trying to be the most efficient here So yeah, everybody, we have sneak peeks next week. In fact, um, if you haven't already seen over on Instagram and on the Facebook, Kevin Doodler's group, etc., we have added a little graphic which shows the timeline for our new release. And we have got sneak peeks Monday through Thursday next week. And we have... reveals then friday for four days and then after that we have got on the 26th that is our um last reveal and also the day that our pre-orders go live and this time this release the pre-order when you press a press no when you make a pre-order you will receive a free uh, stamp set and the stamp set is called just a note so there's a little another little tease for you and i did promise people that i would maybe share actually let me go and grab some of the cards that we've written give you an exclusive peek let me pick one out here that would you might enjoy seeing Alright. So this peak is actually a two for one two for one peak. Um I think this die is really fun. Especially I think if you have a lot of patience, you're gonna enjoy it. Um but there's also options if you're maybe someone who hasn't a lot of patience. So let me show you what it looks like. Here you go. And you see that there's a two for one there because we have different spellings. Got some options there. And this is the heart pencil die. What do you guys think? Do you love it? There you go. There's your exclusive peek. Sneaky peeky. More to come next week. Amanda is loving it. Doesn't say they love it. Love this set. Nessa's loving it. <laughs> Bronwyn's loving it. It is going to be. I think it's going to be a good one. Especially um, if you are sending any cards to crafty friends or if you're sending it to um, teachers. I think it'd be good for teachers as well. And I can't wait to see what everybody else makes with it. The design team have done a phenomenal job. Just every time I got an email full of samples, my jaw was on the floor. I couldn't believe it. That's going to need another one. Jasmine says, I love that you have both spelling. Yes, Nessa as well. Kids, boys, girls, absolutely. It's going to be a good one. It's so versatile. Love it. All right. So we have happy birthday. And we also have wishing you a let's put this away. Let's grab the department. 
and I might actually just pop these in here as well. I might be able to get a little bit of mileage out of them another time. All right. So. Is going to go on the back panel this one too and then we have wishing you a happy birthday so i have a couple of options here we can actually turn it into the the actual banner that the die is designed for and to do that you want to crease along these crease marks here the end one goes up and then the other one goes back like so. Same again over here. Up and back. So what I do like about this is it gives really incredible dimensions. So that, oh, that looks kind of cool. I quite like that. Mission UA. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh and Tally says this looks like a portal that's a really good idea as well especially with the um sort of seaside -y, the sea kind of colors that would be an awesome thing you could have portals you could have your little submarines your little um diver and stuff outside that's cute I like that So we could do like this, wishing you a happy birthday, or we could just trim them down um, to make them just like a curved banner or, or create a little fish tail here and here, whichever we wish. I kind of like the fact that it has a big focal element here. I might go with that for now. Put my, my drawers. Inky drawers. And let's see if we can find some critters for this. So what critters do you think we should go for for this card? What are you thinking? Seagulls! Actually, that's a good idea because um, we live really close to the sea. <laughs> the seagulls could work. Um, I actually was thinking about ranger or uh, dogs. I know that Catherine loves dogs. Um, and maybe we could have some resins or something to that effect. I'm just going to go up to the head and do this and take a look at my wall of stuffs to inspire me. We've got the old crumbs. They're cute. I quite like them. He would work. Let's do one porky. Let's do an old crumbs and maybe then we'll add them to the other dog. Yells, yells is here. Hello. So I think I'm going to do this one. Or maybe we could do the little, this little double. I like this one. Let's do this one. So he's going to be maybe here. And then we could have a little present beside him. I think that would be cute. Where are I find it? Um, there's a little tiny present in Santa's mm -hmm. village. Bigger gift than party palooza. And I think probably. Oh, actually, there was a present in the happy snappy clocks. Let me grab that one. We have some crocs here. Hey, yells. My little present here, and 
I also took out the Muniverse stamp set because it has a super cute little basket. So maybe we could have a basket with another little doggo. Doggo, where would you like to put it? Uh, maybe one of the dogs from the Who Let the Dogs Out stamp set. Or I could have Yappy Happy. I think the Who Let the Dogs Out. comments keep turning off. Maybe this little guy can go in here. That would be cute. Maybe even a birthday cake with a bone on it. Loving it. And Maybe in the middle we could have a kennel and a doggo. Hi, Amanda. Hello, friend. And then we have one here that says woof, but instead of woof, Maybe we'll do a speech bubble from the what you're saying or something like that and put um, seven zero in it because I think that would be cool to have um, have the age on there. But also, I think even if it didn't have the age on there, it looks like a pretty cool little card coming together, don't you think? Coming together like that, loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Let's see if I can. I just have to touch up my card to see if it's my alcohol marker. Really, card stuck. This is the winner. So we're gonna have a corgi, corgi majig. You know a present. Ooh, I think I might need to upgrade. Let's see what we can fit in here. I might have to do for, for round one. Come on. Don't, don't, don't be like that. So we had a little bit of drama today because, um, as many of you know, we're getting uh, some renovations done to the garage for our Happy HQ. So now all around the outside has been insulated and um, it's been plasterboarded and we've had additional electricity points put in it's just the wires at the moment the electrician needs to come back and fix that and put the little fishes on it and we're removing the garage door and putting in like double doors and some windows and everything was going hunky-dory and then the joiner came in today and said, mm, just went down to the glazer and he has not accounted for the fact that there's going to be uh, heating on the floor. And he's already made the doors and the doors open in, but the floor is going to be raised up like an inch. So we had a little bit of, oh no, what are we going to do? Had the good eye into the glazer. Look at options. What can we do to work around it? Such drama. It's fine. We have found a solution that will work. And I don't think anyone will even notice. So that's a good thing. But it still took out like, a, a significant portion of my day. But better to get it sorted. <laughs> Yells, yells, says the internet is playing up today. Oh, oh 
my gosh, guys. I'm really excited. I'm, first of all, yes, yes, I'm sorry. I get so frustrated too and then the internet goes all cray cray. Um, I am really excited because I think I told you guys last week or the week before that we were looking at getting a new computer for streaming. Well, I did it. Ordered it. Ordered a new computer for streaming so that I don't have to do all that stupid grunty PC there anymore. So, here's hoping from here on out my streaming experience is more consistent and I don't have those stupid things where it's like decides to work or does decides not to work. Like today Craig loaded it up and said I'm lagging a bit. I says, well, what's, what's happening? He was like, I don't know. <laughs> and then, like, is there anything else streaming or anything like that? No. I'm like, oh, okay. And then, you know, did the whole hunted around to see if he could find anything. And then it's like, oh, it's working better now. So what did you do? He was like, nothing. Great. Didn't know when to fix it. So we don't know whether it's going to be consistent or not. <laughs> but not for much longer. Because we are going to get that new PC. I could write it. And hopefully, maybe even do some more streaming. I'm hoping to do some streaming on the Happy Doodle YouTube. Or maybe even Facebook. I don't know. What about you guys? Where do you like to be? Where do you like to watch lives? Is it on YouTube? Is it on Facebook? Is it on Instagram? That's what we need to ask. Yay! Uh, Amanda says, did you have to raise the door up a bit then? Yes, we will. Now the, the, the door and the windows are like joined together, so we're having to we're going to have to raise the door up a little bit um, behind the lintel of the, the front. So I told them, as long as you like align li like horizontal lines with horizontal lines, then, it's, then it will be fine. I'll forgive them. Don't, don't be having a frame like this. And then where it should go like this here, aligning one to the other. And, <laughs> and then the inside of the frame here, I'm gonna put it like, like there. I like need to make sure it's either halfway or it goes to there. Just don't do it. Something that I'm going to notice every time I walk in that room. It's really fun. The kind of thing Jasmine says, I don't mind Facebook Lives. YouTube for Nessa. Don't do social media at all, she says. Uh, Bronwell sa Bronwyn says, I will watch Lives wherever they are. So she's not fussy. <laughs> Amanda Fitter, hey baby, uh, says, I like Facebook because you can browse Facebook while watching a video at the same time. I did not know that. So there you go. That's a good, good one. So I will have to... have to have a little think about where I want to do my extra streaming when my new PC gets here. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Get Mr. Corgi in there. Darken him up a little bit. I'm a browner. And we went to the uh, glazers today and we went into the, the place and they had a Burmese dog and her name was Heidi and she was so beautiful. I just could have taken her home with me. And I don't even think Ranger would have minded, you know. <laughs> 
even though she's she's quite quite big i think he would i think he would have been fine a bit even gorgeous wendy says youtube for me and amanda says i know there's some way to stream all that so i'm streaming at multiple places at the moment uh, i'm streaming on youtube and facebook um and sadly it doesn't do instagram i don't think it ever will do instagram it would be nice if it did i think i would have to do a separate one for instagram or alternatively like set up a camera to record me while i'm already recording it from here which might be more more hassle okay let's get a little chihuahua is my chihuahua gonna be actually let's do this guy first of all because we can do some things he's like an american bulldog he's a bullet he's a bullet from Target. at least that's who he's inspired by anyway <laughs> give him a black ear I don't know where my grey is going to be. You run away on me. Always running away on me. Let's blend it out with a C1. Suzanne says YouTube. And Jasmine says, do you ever think you would get a second dog? Yes. Like most weeks we think about it. <laughs> We have said for a long time, so um, those of you who have uh, been watching since since Ranger joined the family, I think you know which, I don't know where he is. Um, when we got Ranger, we very almost got another dog at the same time. And then his brother. And then we, uh, we didn't. We just got him. The other dog was uh, got sold. I've changed my mind about his pink nose. And ever since then, we we've always thought we should have done it. So we were going to get Ranger, and the name was was suggested by me and approved by the family. But Craig really liked the name Archer. So we always said all along that, well, whenever Archer comes along, we'll get this, we'll do this, da 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 da, -da. <laughs> So, yeah, it was always uh, a when rather than an if, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think we will get another dog. We'll, we'll definitely get the, the grooming. <laughs> The grooming room built first of all before um before we buy any more dogs because especially if we get another cockapoo which it probably will be we're hoping to get a black and white cockapoo the range will be the brown and white and then arch will be a black and white boy but I mean, he, he needs groomed so often, at least, like, I mean, you could totally groom him once a month. Six, six weeks at the very least. And it's like nearly 50 quid a pop. So if you imagine that, 100 quid every month for, for two puppers, we'll just do it ourselves. 
And actually, Ranger is much better with me grooming him than he is going to the groomer. So, we'll just do that with Archer as well, starting from the, from the get-go. <laughs> Any hints on the upcoming releases, Suzanne? Yes, I showed an exclusive, exclusive little sneaky a few minutes ago. Let me go grab the cards again. We have our um, sneak peek starting on Monday. Monday, we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We've got four days of sneaky peekies. And then we have four days of reveals with our pre-orders going live on the 26th. So you want to make sure that you have those dates in your diary. And then this is an exclusive little picky for you guys. Just for you. Da -da -da. And this is our heart pencil die. And I think you guys are going to love it. It's so much fun. I find it so relaxing to put together. And I think it's, you're going to get lots of mileage out of this one. And of course I had to include both spelling options. To make sure that our American friends... And our Australian, European, British, etc. Everybody has the spelling that they need. So there you go. Jasmine says we have the space now. Yeah, we do. We do. We have the space at the moment. We don't ha really have the uh, particularly have the time. So we we would we wouldn't do it until we definitely had the time. To dedicate the same amount of training and etc to the new doggo as we do with this one as we do with ranger let's get this little doggy on here little chihuahua Larissa says, is it me or is the sound going off and on? Please let me know because um, as far as I'm aware, it's not my end, but who knows? Oh, Jasmine says sound is good with her. So it might just be an internet thing or um, maybe if you've got your headphones in, check, your, check the old connection. So Tally, I decided to um, follow your advice and go with a little bit of red, which will pop nicely against the um, the teal colours back there. Maybe pink and red on that one. And we'll go for we'll go for a blue bone because let's face it. Cards don't need to be realistic in colours anyway. Nice. The other thing that I did, which um, I'm also super excited about, is um, I got another DSLR camera where that means that hopefully I can have a camera looking down and also a camera kind of close up. I don't know. I shouldn't make any promises just yet because I'm not sure how it's all going to pan out. But I would very much like to have a better um, live video experience for you guys. Um, so, so we're working on it. Watch this space. And you guys can help by sharing the video and um, encouraging other people to to like and, and watch the videos as well. That would be awesome. <laughs> Larissa says, thanks. I'll leave and come back and see if that's all. Yeah, sometimes that good old gem, that little nugget can sometimes fall over there. Let's add... A little bit of dark brown to our little a little basket or basket and we'll have a red present up here.
um, I think I'll put a yellow bow on it. And I'm actually going to put some yellow colors, I think, in, um, in these little apertures here, if you can see. Here's my little collection of doggos so far. And I'm not sure what colors I'm going to do this. So let me cut out my fritter first and foremost because I think that will help me um, hone in on what colors I want, making sure that I've got a nice distribution of such colors, etc. Is anybody crafting tonight? That's what I'd like to know. And if so, what are you making? What are you guys working on just now? And I'll start with this little guy. Larissa is watercoloring. Nice. Are you watercoloring um, a stamped image or are you watercoloring a um, from scratch? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Amanda says she's emptying the garage to start demo tomorrow. I'm assuming by demo, oh, I've just realized I forgot to color in his tail. Really nice. I'm assuming by demo, you don't mean demonstration. You mean demolition. Is that right? Because you are also renovating your garage, your garage. Aren't you? Into a crafty, crafty space. Slash workspace. Here we go. I'm sorry, little boy. He forgives me and gets a little rosy cheek. Come on, bullet. You're next. Roman says, I watched the replay from last week because I missed the beginning. So pleased you finally got my cards I sent. And <laughs> super, uh, super glad. Pipe. She loved it. Absolutely loved it. I love my card too. <laughs> but she was ecstatic about the purple and the pandas. And yeah, you nailed it. Well done. Well done. Oops, she has it and quite a plate in the, in the kitchen just now. Just 100% spot on that one. Okay, next up the basket from the Muniverse stamp set. Stamps and dies. Larissa says now um, she's doing a watercoloring a stamp image. Roman saying it's only 7 a.m. here in Australia, so I'm watching while I'm lying in bed still. Nice. Sounds dreamy. All right, Mr. Corgi, let's get you next. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's it. Let's 
save. And left but not least, the crocodiles. If I can get that little present, little gift. And then we'll arrange this. And the side colors for my little dog house. Amanda says, yep, a garage slash craft room remodel. That's one of the things I have to go down to the, um, in the morning, I need to go to a, a shop, like a, 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 a shop itself, up to um, trade people, one of its wholesalers, I guess, I don't know, and um, look at kitchen units. <laughs> my my morning so we need kitchen units for the um garage for happy hq and we need kitchen units for rangers grooming area let's see what we can do here i wanted this one up here like this and i think i'm going to put some yellow behind it and then down here we wanted a little basket. And this little guy peeking out maybe. Or you can maybe even go the basket and go behind. Yeah, I do not like him inside it. And then this We'll go here. I'm definitely thinking we need to go red. We need to go red for this. Nice, bright red. That's a bit about here. Putting this color in right here. And with red alcohol markers, you have to kind of be a bit careful because red loves to bleed, which is ironic because. What is red? But yes, red loves to have a little run around. So I'll be careful with that one. Try and not get it too saturated down there. And I think probably a blue roof to um, bring in the colors off the background would be really cool too. Did my stream? Stop. Managed to lose my um, comments. Let's finish this in and see.
see how it's going. Can you guys still um, see my comments? You get, is, am I still live? Bear with me a second. If I am still live, I apologize. I just need to make sure that it's still streaming because I lost my comments. Oh, still says live, so that's good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let me just open up a new thing. Still live. Okay, good. Got that permit. See? See what that grunty PC does to me? <laughs> Makes me paranoid. Absolutely paranoid. I'm just going to move for a bit of a grey. Inside. That looks a little bit just like a shadow. Take a little bit of shading. I'll give it a little bit of depth and I need to appear. We're ready to cut it out, I think. All right. Judy's here as well. Hello. Hi, Leslie and everyone. Just joined in. Looking good. Thanks. So for those who missed it, this card is a card that I'm making for um, Craig's mum's friend. And she's turning 70. And she loves, she loves dogs. I mean, she likes all animals. But she particularly loves dogs. She's the kind of person that, you know, would be walking down the street and then... She would see a dog on the other side of the road, she'd be like, I need to go talk to him. <laughs> I think that's definitely what Catherine would be like. Um, so she might get a person, you know? So that's good. And have this and this, and then maybe have a little speech bubble that said 70 on it. So... Let's first of all start assembling. I'm going to start by putting on the white piece, layer that up. She, I'm hoping she will. Yeah, she, I'm hoping she will love the card. So this is going to go here like so, and I want to make sure that I'm getting some yellow in the right area and none in the wrong area. So I'm going to kind of cover this bit here and here, which means, oopsies. I want to make sure it's covering that white section. So I'm going to add some yellow right here. And I'm actually going to use some bathroom cool ink. So let's get my, get my tiara on. I'm going to see if I can bring in some of this color. Now I don't want color all the way up. I kind of want a bit of yellow in the bottom section fading into white. So this is going to look great. I love it. Um, and I'm going to do the same down here at the bottom one.
Um, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to put yellow in the middle yet. Let's see. Maybe we'll go for a different color. I think that's really cute. I'm going to bring this one up a little bit more. Like so. Now, because this is a Catherine Pooler ink, um, it will react with wool sharp. Let's go ahead and put some of a little, a few little droplets on it. Not a lot, but just a few to, um, Just bring out a little bit of texture in that area there. There we go. And I think I'm also going to add a little bit of white ink. No, what did I do my white ink? I, my white ink was lost last week and then I found it this week and I think that, oh that's where that is. No, I remember where it is. I guess I have already forgotten. <laughs> Let's see it. That's logical. It's not something logical. Um, I guess my brain's not that. I just put it back where I had it before. <laughs> Always the me. Let me go, Leslie. Let's just go for some white. Watercolor instead. Now for this, I'm going to... I'm going to do this a slightly different way. To use some scraps here. Cut them back instead of the scraps. Let me just take. Picture card. Right, little circle. Make sure. There we go. And we'll do the same thing right here. Comes my boy. And that'll be Ranger. And I'll just give that a second to dry. So while I'm doing that, I can stick on these guys. Grab some. Blue dots first and foremost to go on these little foldover bits. And then I'm going to put some Happy Doodle Fine Mill foam tape. Um, no, actually, let's use some of the um, foam strips to go along the back of these. Okay. 
And if you take off the release, first of all, you can bend it really well. We have glue dots on the end pieces. I'm going to do wishing you a like so. And then the other one as well. Larissa says, love splattering. <laughs> Me too, it's good fun. Okay, so this one we're going to go down below. Happy birthday. Kind of try and get it so that it is um, somewhat of a same border, top and bottom. Doesn't really matter. She won't. She won't get it. Let's see. That didn't really splatter very much. I think the white's not really popping quite as much. Okay. For next week, I promise that I'll find my uh, Copic ink. <laughs> It'll be my mission for next week. Here we go. Looking good so far. And this one's going to go here, like I said. This one here. Down below. So the real question is, what are we going to do in the middle here? Are we going to do yellow or are we going to do a different color? What do you guys think? I'm thinking yellow will work. Okay. Blue dot or two to this little guy legs like so I think we definitely need some color in there so let's go for yellow again and same again make sure that we cover up the edges because I don't want to get yellow peeping out the side Red dog house gives it such a nice pop on your card. Yes, I do think that. I think the red with the teal was a really good idea, Tally. I'm going to attribute that one to you. And last week I attributed something else to you. Was it the glitter? I was like, that's a brilliant idea. So, yeah. You must be my muse. The craft muse. Yelta says, I'm glad I'm on my own uh, regarding putting, I'm glad I'm not on my own regarding putting things down and, and then I can't see or find them. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what happens right here. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking I'm going to raise this up because um, having a little bit more dimension will definitely make this pop. And it is a birthday for her, it is a card for her 70th birthday. So I'm going to use the Happy Doodle 5mm foam tape for this. I'm just in love with how well the um, mini essential dies work with this, the mine trio. It just goes to show that the mini essentials, they really are essential. <laughs> I've lost my phone too. Okay. Create some more space over here. And take these off and put them in the bin. Oh, 
So I hope you all are subscribed to our newsletter at Happy Doodle because next week we're going to have some newsletter action, especially with our new release coming. All right. Oh, I didn't go down quite as far as I should have done here. There's a little gap. But that's okay because this little dude is definitely going to fill fill the gap, I think. And find my foam tape that ran away. I need to make sure that where I'm putting him and putting the foam tape in the areas that are going to be outside, sorry, inside of the uh, circle. Bronwyn is so excited. Me too. Me too. And actually, one of the things I'm most excited about is the freebie because I think it's such a cool freebie. The kind of thing that you'll use, you'll pair up with lots of um, other things in your stash. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Put in there. Yalziel says, loving these colors working together. Yes, I think that they are working so well together, actually. Super happy with them. This is going to go like so, so I need um, some glue down here. So cute. And I will add this to the little present, little gift. Oh, I can't get the back of this. There we go. Oh, I think this is so cute. Okay, so then we're going to have this one and this one. I might actually put that down at the um, flat, and then that means I've got a little bit more um, play with, more room to play with. Put this down. Use a glue bit. like so and then this one's going to be raised up i'll just give that a second to dry wow someone on twitch is asking uh some spamminess i'm gonna become famous hmm. <laughs> all right so this is going to be my little dog here and then I want to have a uh, 70. Mm -hmm. That blending brush away, and I'm going to see if I can pull out maybe the jet off of it, which would be a good option. Um, inside a what you're saying die cut. H I J. And then a watch your fan or a watch your fan. I'm not sure which one.
We have the seven and the zero. And we can put that inside a little speech bubbly or a little um get a little stitch bubbly another uh, little thought bubble or the Wingman sunset has a little stitch bubble, but it's very small, so I don't think that one's going to be work. But the picture works. Oh, thank you. I think we're going to have to go for one of these. Unless any of you guys have any other suggestions. It's so many. The other option is we could put it in yeah, just in a heart rather than a speech bubble. Oh, lost my comments again. This just seems very big at the moment. You know what? Let's just give it a go. If we don't like it we can choose something else that's the way to go I'll go for this one and we're going to stamp it in the tiara like so And this is the what you're saying. And then you want a seven and a zero. I think they would work well together. Seven zero. Okay, and I'm going to stamp these. I managed to get a tiny sequin coat underneath that. Come on, you cheeky little thing. Good job. There's um alignment lines and grids on these. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to stop this in a red color. It'll probably stay in my sun, but that's okay. What's number four? I'm going to look for black and red. My Bath and Pooler collection. Covers a little bit too dark, I think. Oh, oh, and then it's gone. Oh, you live in a building. Rouge, rouge will do. Will rouge do? Let's see. Dark. Maybe I will hunt for rock and red instead of rouge. Let's have a look. Not going to be much blurry. There you are, hiding under the bush.
that's much better, much more vibrant. Beautiful, perfect first time. All right, let's put these back onto their release sheet. And we will cut out the die. I'll cut out the um put the speech while we're using the die. Let's see what it looks like when we put it all together. Let's see. What do you guys think? Is it going to work for us? Like so? Or are we going to um, put this on the inside? I have no idea why it's on here. <laughs> I think it looks more balanced down here. But I like the idea that this guy in, in the middle was saying something. Maybe we put this one here and then we put a little love heart one at the top. I think that might be cute. Let's see if we can stamp a little love heart one. We'll use the, um, the red again or maybe the yellow. I'm not sure. There's a stamp in the wingman stamp pen. A little love heart. I think that Yeah, it turns out. We can always change it if we want to. My wingman sunset is well, well loved, as you can see. I think the red would be cute. I think you're right. I think it would really pop. We'll give that a second just to dry off. And then... We shall trim it down. Die cut it out. At least that's what we'll attempt to do. A little bit of washi tape stuck in here. Let me just try to get rid of that. All right. Nice and quick. And I think we just need a tiny bit of our foam tape. A little bit too big. And I think this will be it.
obviously I'll need to stick this onto oh do you know what I'm going to stick this onto here so instead I'll use my um my glue bird friend there we go and this was the same down here I am so happy with how this has turned out. I think it's really cool. I think that Catherine's going to love it. With all her little doggy friends on it. And it even has the 70 on it. Let me give you a little bit of an up close look. So we have our stitched Simline trios. And instead of using the um, the fused piece in the middle to cut out three little squares. We used the mini essential dies to cut out this scallop circle effect. And then we added some ink behind it on the white panel using the Catherine Pooler Tiara ink. Give it a little splatter with watercolor and with water. And then added this little guy from the Ocrums stamp set. And these guys from the Who Let the Dogs Out stamp set, the basket from the Muniverse stamp set, um, and then we use the roundabout sentiments and the curved banner die, and the jet alphabetters for the seven day, and the watches say and stamps and dies for that. And of course, the cornflower blue heavy doodle cardstock. I think it is super cute. I love it. I'm loving how vibrant it is as well. So that's kind of cool. Yay! All right. Let's see if we can tidy up the house. Five minutes. Tomorrow I'm going to have to actually play tidy up the house because this week has gone so. It's been a really busy week pre release. And then we've had Morgan here, which has been amazing. But as is always the way when you have um, new people uh, join, there's that old challenge of training everybody. <laughs> so um, sometimes tasks take a little bit longer because you're training. She's doing a really good job picking everything up. I'm really pleased. But um, it's just so much to do. And I was actually quite, quite disgruntled with myself that we got to Friday and has yet to pick up a stuff. It was like the first thing I wanted her to do, but there was just too much going on. And as I said, and she said to me, there's plenty of time for that. We will get there. I've almost lost my guy from my wingman. Let's put that back in there. Exactly if I die you get lost. <laughs> All right. Hey, so there's another big birthday coming up in the Omen family. Craig's brother is turning 40 in um, about a week and a half, something like that. So I think I'll have to make a card for him as well. <laughs> Judy says super cute. It looks like a great party. The little guy in the middle would look cute with the bone, uh, with a bone, with a bow too. Oh yeah, absolutely. This little guy uh, looks like a, a girl. Quite delicate little, little creature. Oh, very cute. Put my phone tip away for now. pop this over to the side uh, for just now. So I need to make a card for for Mark. I'm not really sure what to put on it to be honest. He is going to be 40 
Do you guys got any ideas for cars for gentlemen? He is a mechanic, so he's into his um uh, into his cars and things. I wonder what else I've got. What can I find? Mm -hmm. Let me have a little bit around. I mean, if in doubt, um, make an interactive card, I think is my my go-to solution, especially for, for men. Or a light up card would be cool, maybe. Um, yeah, that would be cool. We could do some sort of a light up card. Maybe we could do um, Seagull and the little lighthouse. Oh, yeah, I'm liking the sound. Seagull, the lighthouse. I'm going to find something in the eye. Oh, I think it's over here with my little I might just have to pick one from the shelf and I seem to remember giving my oh, we'll do that. Well you take one from the shelf and Somebody will have to remind Morgan on Monday to update the inventory. <laughs> so we could have... Oh, uh, Amanda says tools from the robots. That would work, actually. Dinosaur sensing porn. <laughs> oh, I quite like that idea, actually. <laughs> I can't laugh, though, because I'm 40 next year. <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe a lighthouse with its beacon shining on the number 40. That sounds good. So we could have a little lighthouse. And we could have, let me get my um, dies. My imperial. It's imperial. And I'm also going to grab the breaking wave border die. So, I like using my soup materials just as a, a visual aid so I can assemble my card as it were. I want to have a lighthouse up here. Would be good. And we want to have some C. Maybe some C like this. Or a couple of layers of C, perhaps. Choppy, choppy C. And also, somebody was using the little rock from the Otter Side stamp set for. Um, Creating a little bit of a, a base. For this, and I love that idea. I think that worked really well. We can help create some craggy rocks in the ocean here. And maybe some Uh, lights coming out. So we'll definitely have some lights here. And 
Und we can have Should we put the otter in? Because we can have have an utterly wonderful birthday. I think in my heart. We can have and actually a wonderful birthday up here and then this guy could maybe be holding maybe like a balloon or something um with g in it i think that would work and then we'll need to create something like a push button. Shall we do it? Yeah. Suzanne says, I'd love to be 40 again. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Can't age backwards, I'm afraid. Let me go grab some hard stock for a bit. And this time I'm going to use the ice flat card stuff. I'm definitely going to ink this up as well. And um, but for my background, I think I'm going to use I'm going to paint some purples. To create a bit of a pinky purple background. Let's grab my paint on my favorite cardstock for creating an ink blended background. I'm going to need these stumpies. And this is going to go like so. So I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to cut this down just yet. I will, however, put some hard in my misty. So I can put my stamps away, keep them safe. Just don't want them to get lost. I'll put them away from them. Sounds cool, says Yells Yells. All right. So I want to have an ink blend background and maybe use the, um, maybe use my cloudy sky. Let's trim this down ever so slightly. So it's going to be, Slightly bigger than or I just want it to be a bit more manageable. Like a soul. And I'm going to mark on it roughly where my lost my pencil. Uh, this is where my um actually I'm not gonna need this. I was thinking about doing like a light coming out, but I'm not going to need that. I'm going to actually put lights underneath it. So I'm going to forget about that for now. Let's get my inks and let's get my cloudy sort of stencil. And create some beautiful, beautiful clouds. Now I do know that I'm going to start my waves down here. So I only have to go probably start about a third of the way up. I don't need to worry too much, but too much. 
Larissa says, I only love making masks and cards for my nephews seven and nine <laughs> because they love everything I do. My biggest fans. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> His aunt says, you're so talented. No. I'm going to go for pinks and turquoises. And I'm going to go for distressed oxide. I'm in an oxide kind of mood. Wilted violet. I'm going to try out my kitsch flamingo. I cannot feel it out. I'm going to go. Not big old raspberry. What's it called? Raspberry? Pick raspberry. Pick raspberry. And I'm seeing trouble. Oxide. It looked up brown. Oh, that's right. It didn't run away. I was just not looking with my eyes. Um, I'm wondering if I have some. Finger daubers that I can use for this. I think I would be able to get a little bit more control using finger daubers rather than using the other um, my big blending tools. So let's try this. I think I'm going to go for darker purple near the top and then um, pinker down below because I want the darker color near the top for contrast when my light turns on. Nice. It's my kitsch flamingo. So this is the Quietly Sky stencil. Get some nice clouds using this. Hopefully my pinky sky isn't too masculine. Um, uh, isn't too feminine even. For this, I'm going to swap overnight into my wilted violet. See what I can get over here. In fact, I'm probably going to do a couple of layers where where are you popping? A couple of layers where it's violet and the pink, just to help with the transition. Um, Judy says, me too, Suzanne, although in a few years, I'll be saying that about the age we are now too. <laughs> it's just like when I thought I needed to lose weight and now I look back and think, man, I was so slim. That is so true. But I think everybody gets like that. Everybody said that. It's like looking back on... For my, um, like at uni, looking back at, at uni, and I never really, I never really wore like revealing clothes or anything like that. I was quite conservative, but I, I always, I never really thought my body was, I don't know, of note, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. And um, then you look back at the old, um, 
portals and you realize that wow if only i had that button <laughs> not that it really matters nice okay let's do a little bit more transition here i do think that the finger dobbers makes a big difference in getting a nice blended sky Oopsies. What are you doing, Richard? I'm going to come in at the edges. With some purpley. And then we bring up some of those colours so it's not quite so wet in some of these areas. All right. Let me go get the dog. He's woofsing. Come on in, Spudney. Can I just sit up here on the chair while I'm crafting? <laughs> yeah, I'll be able to talk about the, the otter lying on its back between the waves. Relaxing and floating in the water. Oh yeah. The time of his life. Give these a little bit of bit of a clean down. I'm gonna move these out of the way for the sake of space. In my daubers. Uh, Amanda says, I recently found out that my 23-year-old nephew has saved every card that I've made him. That's just so lovely, isn't it? That's just so nice. Speaks volume. I used to give him so-so cards because I thought he didn't care, and now he gets the really good ones. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's it. Judy said that she's loving the sky and she would never have thought to use the pink and the purple. Wow, nice. See, it's good. I need to just put a bit of water on that. There's definitely some pinky purple under there. And then we'll cut this down using the stitched imperial rectangle frames before we add some lovely weight. Let's see. Judy is asking, does Ranger like his new home? He does, and actually, um, it's been really lovely weather recently, and we have um, we've kind of dubbed him Garden Dog <laughs> because he's really happy just to sit out in the garden, and he will 
Um, we will we will leave the utility door to the kitchen shut, and then leave the utility door to the outside open. And um, he'll just sit in the garden, and then he can come into the utility room if he wants. And we were a bit worried the first couple of times because we didn't know how he would get on. The, he can walk around the side of a house and escape if he really wanted to. Um, but he's been really good. A couple of times he's gone around the front, but mostly whenever there's like people walking by and he wants to go on the walk with them, <laughs> especially if they have a dog. He's loving near the, uh, you know, the sandy place with the seas and the, uh, and this thing. There is one of these near us. I can't say it when somebody's listening because there is already an association with that, with that word. He loves going to that place. Hmm. Let's see. So our first wave is going to be... Right about here, I think. Let's cut that line. And probably we'll add in a little bit of inking. So that's the first layer, and then I need to do another layer a little bit higher up to the right, will be the peak. Let's give that a go. I always make cards for my daughter's friends' birthdays, says Brahman, but there are a couple that cherish and hold on to the cards, so they always get the extra special cards. Oh, that's so sweet. Absolutely. Um, I need to go get myself a new packet of wipes. Oh, this one got some free bladder on it. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that for the sake of uh, continuity. Give that a little bit of a bladder there. I mean, just too cute. <laughs> yeah, the other says you could have Spanish floating off into the background. Yeah, he's a mechanic. Maybe the little um, otter could be holding a spanner or something. It'd be cute. This is going to go right here. And then this one's going to go behind it. I'm going to tuck it in a little bit, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to have to layer it like this. See what that is. But that's okay. And then we'll have our um, lighthouse here. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to, I'm going to go completely rogue. I'm either going to ruin it or it's going to be amazing. Oh. 
I'm going to add a little bit of spotlight. And maybe right click them in to give it more of a sunset kind of feel. Oh, it could all end in tears. And here, okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And I'm also thinking I might go a bit darker blue at the top, like a chip sapphire, maybe. <laughs> Either way, I need to go grab some white paper. I got some. Luckily, in my house, um, due to crafting, I buy wipes by the, the box. <laughs> hey, Berta. Hello. Amanda says, looks good. Uh, and Roberta says, hey, got my shot and only felt a slight pinch. Yay. My dad actually. Um... My poor daddy Kins, he got his second jab yesterday. And um, now that he has had his second jab, he can now go ahead and get his hip surgery booked in. Yay! So that's really exciting. So I've got a bit more blue around the outside. I haven't actually used any ink at all. I've just used whatever is lurking on this. Um, I'm going to come in with a wee bit of... Sapphire, if I can find it. Just to give a bit of a darker look up here. Hopefully there's not too many colours going on. One a bit wild. I think it'll all come together just fine. All right, this is going to go down here. This is going to go here. We're going to have a lighthouse around about here. So I'm going to use the little lighthouse die. Um, kind of about here. I'm just going to go for it because I can always position the rest of the elements. So that my light is in there. So 
this one that is really fun because it creates almost like little perforation holes that you can see here. Can you see them? And that's going to really make the lighthouse pop. Maybe up. I'm going to stick these on, but I'm only going to put some glue along the bottom edge so that I reserve the right to stick some elements into it. Leslie, you have never made anything that was not amazing. Always amazing. Ah, thanks. I mean, I'm sure you understand that I don't always feel like that. <laughs> I'm sure you guys too sometimes feel that you're just having an off day. Uh, I think that is completely normal. <laughs> Absolutely, completely normal. Come on, Glubert. Get to work. Sleeping on the job. I think my Glubert is a bit of a refill is the problem. need to hold them upside down but I have just the tool for that like so all right let's get the misty and stamp these little guys Roberta says this guy is beautiful. I'm glad it turned out that way because this is supposed to be a masculine card and I started with pink and purple. And then I thought it was maybe a little bit too pink and purple, if you know what I mean. So, just adding those extra colors, I think, makes a big difference, especially with that orange making it look a little bit more sunset. Lush. Let's color these guys in. Okay, so first and foremost, what color is our light eyes? I mean, you just peeked his ears there. Oh, oh, you want to go to that place, mommy? I actually have a bit of a gross story about that about that place. Um, Ranger and I went there last week. I think it might have been the week before, actually. And as we were coming back. I was walking along, walking along and there was like a thing on the beach and I was very much just in the mode of what's the home, cold, hungry kind of thing. I wasn't paying any attention and I was also thinking about an episode of Bones. Have you guys ever seen Bones? So it's a show on Disney Plus and there is this lady who is a forensic anthropologist and she pairs up with the FBI and she is a bone expert and of course there's multitudes of murders etc and um, she's able to look at the bones in the cadavers and um, figure out who they are etc etc anyway so dead bodies essentially on the um on the show and um yeah so i was thinking about this episode of, of bones and i was walking along and i could see this thing on the beach and as i glanced down it looked like there was like feet at the back and I sort of, my brain went, ah, that looks like feet. 
and I kept walking and then I was like hold on that's weird and I looked back and it obviously wasn't great um but I realized then a few minutes later as this dog came over and started rolling around on top of it that it must have been a dead seal this is so sad and these were his little flippers um, but I was also actually very glad that it wasn't my dog that was rolling around on it so I have to say that we do get quite a lot of seals in the North Sea which is quite exciting I do prefer them when they're alive. Mm -hmm. Roberta says, I missed, is that a dye that you used for the beacon? It is. So this is a dye which is actually becoming available for sale in our release next week. Um, and it's called Little Light House. The stamp, and then this is the dye that coordinates it. And I think you guys are going to love it. So this was actually a die that was a freebie uh, during our uh, last stamp release ages ago. And I know people have been dying to get their hands on it. Now it's ready. Coming soon. So I went for a navy and blue theme. And um, I'm going to add a, whatever this is called, a plinth for a section, which is red. I'm going to go a little bit darker because it's going to be like a night tame. A reddish color. Nice. Hi, Bob. Hey, how are you doing? And um, we'll go for a red door down here as well. And I think this bottom section, I'll actually make it a bit like rocks. So I'm going to make it very similar to this. These little rocks. A bit of craggy. So that's a C seven. And that was some C five. And C three was the one that ran away from me. I don't know why he's not here. I have to go straight to C1. Or maybe actually, maybe use a grey tone. Soft taupe. Taupe. I think taupe is like the poshest colour. <laughs> taupe. Actually, taupe is more of a warm grey kind of colour. And feather grey. Yeah, feather grey is actually better. Taupe is a little bit too pale. Well, that's fine. And then we'll use a C1 on the edge of this. A little bit of shading, and then up here we're also going to add, going to add a bit of a yellow, 
Starlight. Um, like so. Bob says, better late than never. Oh, yeah. Them back in there. Oh, I forgot to follow my options. Just a what a silly sausage I am. And actually, I'm going to add a little bit of meal in here as well. For that, and um, Mr. Otter. And I don't know whether we get wild otters, like sea otters in um, the north of Scotland. Does anybody know? I certainly don't know. Judy says, I love taupe. <laughs> I had a taupe carpet and everyone loved it. Mm. My bridesmaid dresses were taupe. Were they taupe? Yeah, I think it's taupe. Right, come on then. What are we going to do next? Let's do a lighter color for his belly boobs and his face. I made a dark one for his little nosy. So cute. He's so good. And we'll give him a little bit of a rosy cheek because, you know, I can't help it. Are you okay, Spudney? Angie was up at 5 a.m. Being sick last night. No idea why. But he's feeling much better today, apparently. So here I have three images. Let's cut out my little lighthouse. Like I said, this is going to be available in our release next week. And for those of you who um, have recently joined us, I want to remind you that or let you know that we have our sneak peeks of our new release starting on Monday. So we'll have four days of sneaky peekies. And then we will have four days of reveals where we're showing you things from our new release. And then on the last day, the 26th, is when our pre-orders go live. And, and during pre-order stage, that's when you have a chance to to um, grab the new release, be the first ones to grab it. The orders will ship by the 1st of May, which is release day. And um, you'll also get a free die. Uh, sorry, stamp. You'll get a free stamp. And if your order is over £45, you will actually get the free die as well. So that's exciting. So you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna check out the um, Happy Doodle blog next week. 
for all our sneakity piggities. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we have our little otter. We have our C. I'm not sure where C is going to go, but it'll be somewhere right there. This is going to go right here, like so. And then this is going to go in behind, maybe like this. And we might, I might even put in another layer of C. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let me see. No, I think this will work. I think this will work just fine. And we want to make sure we have room for our sentiment. So I'm actually going to stamp that right now. I think in this otter stamp set, the um, the little rocks probably get used just as much as the otters do. The rocks are so handy, especially for any under the sea cards. They're great with the prehistoric piles. All good. All gravy, baby. So we're going to have half and Wonderful birthday. Oh, they all want to catch together. I'm going to do one at a time. Because I I think I'll have more control that way. Bob says, beautiful card. Thank you, Bob. Yes, I'm going to actually grab the um, easy lights. I think. From Pear Blossom Press. Because they make the whole thing super easy. Easy peasy. Turn me. I'm just going to go black for these because I want the main event to be the light. So I'm not really worried too much about making these like multicolored or anything or embossing. Beautiful, easy peasy. And then for this, what I'm going to do is I've got my um, card right up in this top corner here, and I'm going to align my stamp around where the die has already been pre-cut. Like so, and then 
I'll grab a new card. And we'll crease this. At four and a quarter. Pop that in there and then just it doesn't even need to be inked properly. This just gives me a guide where I want my lights to be because that's where a roundabout here is going to be. Those little holes from my little lighthouse. Okay, so this is the inside section of my card. And I'm going to first of all put some foam tape all the way around it. Put Get sticking. Whoopsies. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let me see if I've got some easy lights in here. I do indeed. Okay, so easy lights. Like hair blossom press. Makes light up cards really, really super easy. And if I can open this. The hardest bit is opening the packet. <laughs> and we do sell easy lights in the Heck Noodle store. And in the package you will get little batteries. And then these little things here. So I'm just going to need one of these. I can separate one off. Put one away, back in its box, for now. And so this here is the battery holder. And then over here we have the lights. We have three lights which are already um, wired and ready to go. So all you need to do is slide your battery into the battery holder. Now, if you look very closely, let me show you very closely. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but inside here there is a tiny little plus sign. So you need to make sure that the plus side of your battery, which is this side, is facing that way. Let me just pop the hands down again. Slide this in. Slide it in the right side, not the other side. And then, can you see how cool that is? Love it. So all you need to do is position this where you want it to be. So um, if you wanted to, we could have one here, one here, and one here, and then it would turn on the lights in the inside of the lighthouse. But I want the lights to be along here so that we have that um, really, really bright. I'm gonna put one on this side. And I'm going to put one on the other side. And I'm going to put one kind of in the middle just because. I'm going to get some tape. Just a little bit of scotch tape.
mix two. I'm going to bend one out to the left. I'm going to bend one out to the right slightly. I'm going to leave one up in the middle. Give it a little massage. And then the other thing that we have to decide is where we're going to have the um the push button. No. Yells Yells is saying the number 40 would sit well in the space between the cut out for the light. Oh here. Um yeah, it would maybe. This is gonna go here. Is our light? Da, 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 da. And this guy is going to be down here. So I was thinking that we have um in fact let me stick this one down. Um, a little bit of blue dots here to stick it down. And this one's going to go like this. I haven't stuck down this yet, so I want to do that before. Let's put some of this on. That idea came too late as the stone is in this. The stone's in place. Oh, it will be in a second though. <laughs> and this is going to go in here. I want it to find this ever so slightly. There we go. I think that looks good. And then my thought was that this guy could have um, almost like a little balloon because he has his hand raised up. So I could show you something else from our new release. Let me see. It might not work. We'll give it a go. Might be a little too big. So in our release, we have got stitched balloon dies. Well, I think it's going to be far too big, sadly. But it was definitely worth having a look. I think you guys are going to love it. We can maybe find another little balloon and then add the little string to it for his hand, perhaps. Oh, Ranger wants out. Let's see. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I think the otters could hold the 40, but I was wanting to hopefully put the 40 in something, like a balloon or a gift or something. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What are we going to do? Let me see. Let's see. Give me a second while I let the dog out for a minute. All right, let's have a think. I have an idea. What if we use the rascal alphabetters and the dies just to cut out the word or the number 40? Let's give it a go. We'll see how it turns out. It might be too big. It might not be the right sort of size. But we'll try. We will try. Putting a seashell. Yes, yes. That's where I don't think seashell is going to be big enough though. Let's try the number 40. Right. 
I mean, this is a quite a big 40, but because it has the coordinating dies, it might just work. And I'm going to go for a purple just to try and bring in some of those purpley tones. Oh. I'm sure we'll go out there. Maybe, maybe sugar will go there. Let's see. Hi, Susan. Hi from Asorius, British Columbia. Hello. Ooh, that's a nice, a very subtle purpley color. I like it. Quite muted. Okay, well, give it a go. Sometimes Captain is just trying to error. <laughs> Make the 40 into two balloons. Ah, that could work. Let's take out my dies. So for these guys, I've actually managed to successfully keep them together into a bit more of a manageable um, collection of dies. So all you need to do is remember to um, put them apart individually like so. And then what you can do is, is put down your die and then some, somewhat um, maneuver your card to fit it and like a song. Now, with these, you might want to use um, something a bit more stickier than the metal tape because when there's a lot of dies in there and a small piece of card, sometimes you run the risk of a little bit of traveling. It might work out okay. And then the zero is here. Same again. And maneuver the die. Really good little rub. <laughs> well pronounced. You know, if I tried to pronounce it again, it wouldn't work. <laughs> Normally, when it happens. Awesome. Is Ranger telling me it's bedtime? All right. I think a balloon would be cute. I think the balloon that we have here is too, the, the balloon would be too big for the proportions of my car. And I don't want to take away from the, the fact that there's a, um, that there is a light up element. So we can maybe put the little, a little gift in here and we can maybe put the press here um thing on it so let me take out my interactive mirrors which by the way we've got more in stock if you've been looking for it so we have a push here and a press here so we could use one of those and i'm going to need a little open something let's have a bunch see what we can find we should do a lot of art um, there is a tiny little balloon in the Elephant of Surprise. That could possibly work. It's not big enough for the 40. But it would be big enough for the push here. That could work. Let me see. There is a little gift in Adam's Village, but I think that's going to be too... Uh, there's got lines in the middle for the pencil. Uh, there's a heart in the outer side. Could maybe hold the push here. 
I don't think it won't hurt. This is for a boy. This is for a four year old dude. Maybe we can go with. Is there a bigger shadow anywhere? I can find a bunch of the books. Oh, here we go. Hmm. I got starfish. Ooh, maybe star from a uh, superstar. No, I think that's going to be too big as well. Oh, honestly. Well, we start to think of the right option. All right, let's let's stamp the little balloon from Elephant of Surprise and see what happens from there. <laughs> It might just end up being perfect. <laughs> Maybe. Our little balloon. Like a so. Uh, 40 stamp the balloon held by the otter says yells yells or Susan says each number can be its own balloon just add a string that's true that could be an option as well let's see first of all if this would work because this could be the um the button In fact, I'm going to color it first because the little stamp is so delicate that I don't want it to I don't want it to get smudged if I try to color after the fact. So let's color this in with I'm go for some pinks and purples I think. Yeah, it's super sticky, this one. In fact, this one feels dry. The otter holding the arrow saying press here, pointing at the 40. Put the light box on the right. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like that. That's cool. Um, let's let's just try this with the we can like we can do it again if need be. This is a press here. So you have to kind of ink it kind of lightly, and I tend to practice a little bit. Make sure I get the best kind of pressure on it. There we go. Press here. So cute. I need to put this stamp away because it's so tiny. It'll, it'll run away and never come back to me.
Just perfectly. You could have this like so. Press here and then have that light up. I think that looks kind of cute. I think it's the perfect um, size for him. It's not overwhelming or taking it away from him. I think that's going to work really well. All right, I think I'll just put the 40 at the bottom here. I think that it still still works. Let's stick this down onto here. I'm going to add a little one here. Yells, yells and saying she loves the card. Like so. And... I'll add some blue to the back. A little bit of bird. The otter needs a balloon. Yay. I'm going to tuck that in a little bit. Like so. And then the press here is right. Here. Oh. Doing a really poor job. There we go. That's ready right to be. So then all we do is maneuver around all of these so that my button is right in the middle. And then add some double sided sticky tape. Now you do want to make sure that you're using. Uh, strong enough adhesive that it is actually going to stay there. If you were concerned that this might fall down, then what you might want to do is just take A little bit of foam tape and secure it around about. It's not going to move around. All right. Now, um, I could even just put this scotch tape is see through, so I could just stick them straight down like this. It's not going to be a problem. So we're going to see through it. In fact, that kind of diffuses the light, which might make it a little bit nicer. Like so. I love it. So let's pull off all of these. Yeah. And I'm just going to use the corner of my multimedia mat here to snuggle this into the top layer. Uh, sorry, this uh, into the corner so I can help position this top layer correctly. I think the misty would probably work a little bit better. But. It will do. Turn it 
Do, 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 do. Give it a little encouragement. We're done there. Now I noticed that just here, obviously where the two stitching lines met, um, a little bit of the cardstock fell out. Right here. I'm just gonna stick him back on the build it. Oh no. Let's see. I put my I don't know why it's not positioned. I think maybe you just need to press it a little bit harder. Alright, cool. Alright, I think we're just gonna put the 40 down here and call it a day. I think that will work. Awesome. There we have it. Have our lights working. Tiki 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 on and off, on and off. Looking good. Yay! I love it! The so two cards made. We have a card for Catherine who's turning 70 and we have a card for Mark who's turning 40. I think we've done a great job tonight. What do you think? <laughs> Which is your favourite? Which do you prefer? Do you think Mark or do you think Catherine's going to uh, enjoy theirs the best? <laughs> Judy says, wow, MG, I love it! And Yell Yell says she loves it as well. Oh, I accidentally stuck some foam tape to my desk. I try to move that before it gets stuck forever in a day. Oh. He's gonna love that card, says Judy. And Roma says fabulous cards as oh yay! All right, my dear friends, I'm gonna love you and leave you. It's getting late over here, it's just hit midnight. Um, and I'm off tomorrow to look at kitchen units and um, hopefully there'll be uh, no more dramas with our um, <laughs> renovation work. We'll get that sorted. I'll see you on Monday because we're having our sneak peeks over at the Heffy Doodle blog. And I really hope that you'll come. Oh, that's the cup I bring. I really hope that you'll come over and um, have a look at all the sneak peeks for the new release. Um, and next week I will be crafting a new release during Come Craft With Me. So come along for a little look and a little play. <laughs> all right. Have a great weekend, you guys. I love you all. And uh, until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye. <laughs>